Hello everyone, I am Priyanshi Khanna, a data science and business analytics intern at the Sparks Foundation. So uh, today I'll be sharing the task four of my internship, that is exploratory data analysis on terrorism. So here we've been given a data set over global terrorism and we have to perform data analysis over the given data. And as a security or defense analyst, we have to find out the hot zones of terrorism. So uh, moving on, uh, the data. This is the data we've been given. So this is uh, around 1,81,000 approx uh, events, terrorist activities all over the world. And uh, for each activity, we've been given the year of the activity, the month, day, the country, uh, the region, the province or the state, the st city, the longitude and latitude of each cities, and uh, uh, much more information about uh, which uh, talk what were what was the target, what were the types of the attacks, and uh, number of people killed in every event, the terrorist group involved in each event the number of people wounded in each event and also some sub notes and summaries so uh, there's a lot of information about each event here and we have to analyze these around 1,80,000 events and come to a conclusion so proceeding to the analysis here first we'll import all the libraries and uh, after importing the libraries, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Matplotlib.py, Plot, Seaborn, and uh, Matplotlib inline for plotting in the same browser. After importing all this, we'll import the data. Now, uh, the, this data string provided to us is uh, of Latin 1 encoding instead of UTF-8 encoding. So we'll include the encoding uh, type also. So this is how we've imported the data successfully now uh, we'll get the knowledge about the data through info shape columns and the column names now out of out of all these columns we need only some particular columns so we'll choose those columns and we'll make uh, the a data frame of all the chosen columns then we'll name them according to uh, our will we'll uh, change i year to year and so on uh, we'll change the name of all the columns according to what we wish to then further we'll check for the null entries here and uh, there are many null entries in some uh, rows so uh, we'll fill the uh, killed and the wounded columns which we need uh, with zero wherever there are null entries we'll fill it with zero and the casualty section is a column which we uh, are creating by adding the killed and wounded ones. So uh, now then we'll describe the uh, database. So this data uh, on description we can see that uh, these are all the activities ranging from 1970 to uh, 2017. For the year you can see minimum and maximum here. And uh, maximum number of people killed in some event were 1570 here and uh, people wounded maximum number of wounded people were 80, uh, 8191 and maximum number of total casualties were 9574 so this is how we describe the data now we'll visualize it first we'll visualize it through the year we'll check the uh, number of attacks in each year so we'll take the column year We'll uh, use it for getting unique values using value underscore counts. And um, then we'll sort the index and make it into a data frame. And we'll reset the index and then rename the columns to year and attacks. Then we'll set the index to year. So after all this, we get this data frame and we'll plot it using the bar plot. So uh, this is how... Uh, we got the plot and 2014 as is visible is the year when the number of activities terrorist activities were maximum 
and uh, 1971 had the minimum activities. So uh, moving on to casualties, so we'll plot the year and the ca casualty column by grouping them together through year and when we'll plot it we'll see that the casualties of course were in 2014 the most and least in 1971. Then uh, after casualty we'll uh, divide casualty into number of people killed and wounded then uh, we'll get uh, the killed and the wounded uh, plots so looking for the killed ones 2014 had the maximum and 1971 the minimum and for wounded ones 2015 was maximum and 1971 the minimum so this was the year wise description now region wise the same way is region wise attacks number of attacks in each uh, region we'll summarize it over uh, using the area plot over all the years and we'll get the uh, area plot of each region facing terrorist activities then the number of activities according to the regions so we can see most uh, activities in the middle east and north africa so the same way we'll proceed we'll check the total casualties in the region the number of people killed in each region and uh, the number of people wounded in each region now after region we come to country country wise we'll check the maximum attacks country wise we can see iraq has the maximum and turkey the least then casualties again iraq and least philippines killed and wounded so uh, iraq in killed and also in wounded so iraq is the one which is a hot spot for terrorist activities then we come to city wise analysis now uh, city wise we'll plot and we'll see that baghdad has uh, is a hotspot for uh, when we come to city wise analysis then uh, we'll work upon the number of casualties again Baghdad number of people killed and again Baghdad and number of people wounded again Baghdad so Baghdad is a hotspot now terrorist groups active so uh, we can see Taliban uh, was successful in making uh, 7478 activities all over uh, world and this is just top 10 so the 10th is Boko Haram with 2418 then we'll plot the same data and uh, we'll check the casualties that each group made the number of people each killed and the number of people wounded by each group then after this we'll come to attack type wise attack so how the attack took place so we'll see that bombing and explosion had the maximum and uh, we'll see the killed ones and the wounded ones also the same way after attack type we come to target type in target type uh, we'll observe that private citizen property was the target mainly then we'll see the casualties and the killed and wounded people in all the target type events after that we come to group plus country now here we can see that Taliban has was successful in uh, making terrorist activities of 7,423 counts in Afghanistan so this is how uh, we plotted the same and the number of casualties number of people killed and wounded again group plus country wise then we come to humanity affected worldwide so uh, total number of casualties due to terrorist activities were um, 9,35,737 the no number of people killed all over were 4,11,868 and the number of people wounded due to terrorist activities till now are uh, till 2017 are 5,23,869 so this is the whole, whole observation we've made and we've uh, crisped the observations into this so this is the gist of all our analysis you can observe it from the start year wise attacks casualties killed and wounded region wise country wise city wise terrorist group wise attack type wise target type wise group and country uh, country wise and humanity affected overall so iraq and baghdad are hotspots